Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you the um, optimal settings for your MSI Afterburner for a GTX 1060. Uh, mine is 3 gigabytes, but I'm pretty sure it works on all of them. So, let's get right into it. <coughs> so first you're going you're to want to put your core voltage, and you can put these, you can put your settings, any of these ones, like, close, but these are just like the best ones that works for me. So you're going to want to put your core voltage all the way up. Um, and if you don't know what any of this means, you can just read here, and then you can look it up online if you still don't get it. You're going to want to put this all the way up, and then you can put this anywhere around, like, I usually put mine at 300 and, like, 550, but you can go anywhere close to this, just don't, just make sure to be careful with tuning, um, Afterburner, because it can be, you can... Um, like destroy your GPUs. <clears throat> so you, you can just put this to auto. The fan speed doesn't really matter. And then you're gonna want to press apply here. So this will like do stuff, and it it can show you settings there. <clears throat> so next you're gonna want to go to the settings here. You're gonna want to go to fan, and you want to copy this line here so you can drag these boxes and make it so it looks just like mine, and then you want to take this box right here, where it says force fan speed update on each period, and you're going to want to press apply, and then okay. Then you're going to want to do um, control F. Already want to, you're, gonna, you're going to want to push the last box right here that you have. You're going to click it, and you're going to push L. And then you can force out of it, and then you can apply it again. And you can unlock this and wait, why is it over here? And then yeah, that's basically it. So see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.